period. We're great. It's a video. How are you doing, folks? We're here this evening with Thomas and Michael Graney from Clahan Brandon with their slurry system. And we see Thomas there coming in the background with the slurry cat tanker, and it's just 6155M drawing. And they have an umbilical system pumping into the field. Um, very, very good for low ground compaction and the whole lot. Very good if you had a bit of a long draw and um, you don't have to be filling tankers and destroying gaps and everything. Um, like I said, this is Thomas here coming. You can see him coming around the corner. We'll get a look at the system here where you'll see it, where it hooks up onto the, onto the umbilical, onto the cards. And um, we'll, get to, we'll get to see how all that works. This is it here. And if you look very closely, you can see how she connects on. Pressure on now, Thomas. One thing that actually happens is the pipe actually stays pressurized. And on the pump there, you can see on the back of the slurry cat, that's what they call a dodo pump. And that will actually act as a vacuum pump for the tanker. Or it will just pump it out here. And she's pumping out all the way up along. You can see up the field, up to the spreader. They can pump it there along, you will see the pipe going along the ground. They can pump it, I think Thomas told me, up to 800 metres. And for those of you like myself might not exactly know what 800 metres is. 800 metres is, well, just short of a kilometre. There's a thousand metres in a kilometre, to the best of my knowledge. You can see there your man is travelling away. And very, very, very little impact on the soil. Fierce impact, no, no pressure of tanks, no bouncing going in and out gaps with half full tanks and all that kind of stuff, none of that. Very, very little marking of the field. And this is, I don't know what date it is today. It's very early in, in when is it? The end of January, early February, 2023. And you can see places are fairly wet. I think someone said this from the the 12th of October last year we had five days without rain and you can see the marks that the tractor is making in the field absolutely zero zero marks small few marks all right maybe where he's turning but overall nothing and I'm walking the field here and I can tell you it is fairly sticky and fairly wet underfoot. And of course the nurse system again, very easy to wind up and very easy to get going and tidy up and put back into the reeler there as you can see on the front of the tractor. And um, away with you to the next job. And look at that for yourself. Inside in the middle of it. And you can hear the water under my feet. It is fairly toasty here, fairly wet. And you can see the impaction. On two good tires, which they have. There's a small bit of marking maybe where you're turning at the headland, but nothing. Nothing, your fields are going to be rolled anyway. You can see there, slurry cap reeler again. And you can see the slurry coming out the back. And 
And like things are fairly wet here lads. And no tanker. There was no way you travel this ground with a tanker. Not a hope. Not a hope you travel there with a tanker. First of all, she was spinning, going up the hill there. Of course, slurry cat again. Slurry cat are a serious outfit. Slurry cat are may have their silage trailers. They have reels. They have spreaders. They have umbilical systems. They have this system. I suppose it's a what you would call a nurse system. I should pump away, I think Thomas said to me, up to 800 metres. And the boys then are in touch the whole time with two-way radios and walkie-talkies. Like, look at the ground here, look at the ground. We're going to walk over here to see the impact. Like look, this place is wet. You can see the water. Look at the water underground. And it's just barely marking. It's not doing a whole pile more marking than, than it would during the middle of the silage season or during the middle of the summer. And I know you're going to say, oh, you're below on the coast and it's dry and it's nice and sandy. It's not. It's not. I know we're in a bit of a hump of a field here, but I don't think there's too many tractors that pull a big tanker up this hump without making absolute carnage of the of the gap. And that's exactly what would happen. It would be in absolute shite in a very, very, very short space of time. Of course, high spec as well. The other high spec tanker below. High spec, another Irish company. They just stopped there now for a, a changeover, so I'm going to press pause and I'm going to see how long it takes. We're going to start counting. One, two, 23 seconds I counted from when from Thomas pulled away from the thing, from the, the connection below and there's a DCI arm until when Pajo started pumping slurry up here gear again. 23 seconds. Constant flow of slurry, constant flow. You can see here zero, absolutely zero ground compaction. It is without doubt a fantastic system. I think the proper name or what they I think what they call it is kind of a nurse system. Now you have to be careful in what you do, you have to be careful in the way you you go about it because you could end up getting your hose in a knot and that's been awful. An awful thing we don't any fella getting these hoses in a knot. I suppose the only thing you have to have is the slurry has to be fairly watery. But of course, what fellas actually don't realise is the more watery the slurry is, the faster you can get it out. Because it's easier to suck it up, it's faster to pump it. So, leave water into it. Alright guys, that's kind of it for myself. Like I said, give a like, give a subscribe. And um, we're getting there, we're getting there together. I don't know where we're going, but sure we'll get there together. Alright guys, we're going to give a look at the connection here. Thomas is coming down again the road. And we're going to give a look at the connection. I think it's called, they call it a DCI arm. Off the tank. This is your, your connection. Slurry cat again come up with that. Your arm comes down off of the, the side, off the dodo pump, off the side of the tanker. And connects here. 
Now, one thing I can't figure out, and I'm not too sure how it works, because when it releases it, there is still pressure in the pipe. So I presume when he connects, it releases some mechanism or some fitting that takes the pressure off or opens the valve inside. I'm not exactly too sure, but sure, yeah. We'll give a look at it. Give a look how he fits it here now, he's just going. Period. Well, great. Here's a video.